So far, we have been through unit testing and integration testing of software testing lifecycle. And we have understood a little more in detail that what happens during these levels. But there is something more which we need to understand post integration testing, which is system testing. Where system testing is another level which has a different objective compared to unit and integration. And what is that? What if extra activities happen here and how system testing is different from other levels of testing is what we will be understanding in today's video. So let's get started with today's episode. Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neesh Kumar Singh and today we are talking about system testing. System testing is another functional level which happens post unit and integration testing where unit testing has an objective to verify independent features, components, programs in a particular module or probably a module in fact. Whereas like when you're done testing with particular set of modules, you can begin with integration testing which is all about testing the flow of data and integrity between different modules or maybe more than two or more modules. So integration will help you understand how exactly the modules are integrated with each other. But what if, you know, we talk about beyond that. Of course, when you are done integrating all the modules, it's time to start testing a system. Now system is equal to software, which generally means one thing that collection of different units put together, uh, which makes a, some particular task to happen is what you call it as a system or a software. Now, when I talk about a very simple application here, which is a calculator and calculator has several modules like adding a number, multiplying a number or dividing numbers, uh, subtracting one from another or making exponential value out of it or ev evaluating log values, evaluating percentage. So as you see, there are a lot many features like that and there are different functionalities. But when I put them all together at one place and put it in a hardware kind of environment and put it as one particular piece of calculator i call it as a system which is everything put together finally to be called as a product which can be sold into the market or which can be given to a user in order to use that and have an experience of the functional parameters of the application so yes system testing is all about making sure that everything is now at one place a user can actually work on it and has end-to-end -end features integrated together and now the product is ready to be used by a user to make sure that it is working fine as per the requirements. So system testing is all about to test end to end of an application. And also as a part of system testing, you try to verify the user experience with the application. Believe me, when you talk about system testing, it is just not limited to basic functional features, but it also starts building the lot of non-functional parameters like usability, accessibility, you can begin with your performance, security, recoverability, and you know what all other features we have in non-functional. So everything can actually get into the practical environment and start executing those non-functional levels beyond the functional readiness. So once the system testing is executed and it meets all the expected results, then you move into the non-functional testing of the life cycle. And that's how the system is now declared ready to be used by users. Thus, the non-functional quality characteristics can now be further improvised. So, of course, we have discussed this in our previous tutorial about comparison between functional and non-functional that not all the non-functional testing begins only after system testing. There are some levels like performance, usability, recovery, security. They start getting implemented right from the code phase. That is implementation and following that unit testing some of the parameter basic features of non-functionality can also be tested including integration testing but practical environment execution will happen once you have a product with you and that happens only after system testing so it's more important to understand what else do we cover as a part of system testing in system testing not only the functionality of the entire system Plus, we do test the user experience that if a user has to interact to do different uh, activities on the product, how exactly the product will be uh, behaving and trying to respond to the user. The second part is beyond this is the risk. 
you might have addressed a lot of uh, you know system risk which are like product risk and all which can be addressed very well during the system testing thus a test basis for the system testing is generally the software requirements plus you may have your use cases which may represent a particular end to end transaction following that it may also recommend or um, uh, use risk analysis report which has the information of identified risk with the risk assessment and details of the same because now once you have an entire system end to end a lot of risk can be actually addressed when it comes to system testing so having a piece of entire thing put together will help you to add more value and test certain things which might not be possible while doing integration and unit testing the system testing has a unique objective when compared to other level of uh, testing is to make sure that the product is now ready end to end from a functional point of view and now can be used further for enhancing the quality characteristics of the product so that's one thing about system testing other part how exactly it is executed what is the approach you can use remember team we have discussed about white box and black box so white box is all about like working on the back end with the code specifications and black box is all about the front end working on the user interface so system testing is uh, generally conducted using the black box approach because this is a huge application now has everything well integrated and put together so it will be quite complicated if you get into the code levels whereas the codes have been tested during unit and integration testing at a very early phases so now it's time to test from the user interface point of view to make sure that when a user interacts with the product how exactly the system uh, gives up the next page or gives up the next menu and how the user can actually select different inputs so system basically confirms that a user is now having access to this entire system and can operate several functions within that so that's what we wanted to tell you about on the system testing i think this was really interesting to explore about system testing and it's it's just that not so simple you have lot many further details which you can actually explore and we will be getting into that later so in this video we just wanted to talk about system testing and give you an overview in nutshell that what exactly system testing is all about so that's all from this particular episode team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'll be there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team happy learning